Hi, this is Keith Larson with Spot On Homes. Today our topic is, what could possibly go wrong? You're finally under contract, happy days are here again, you're looking forward to moving on with your life or moving into your brand new home. What could happen? Well, you could have finance issues. Rates could go up if you're not locked. Uh, buyers have been known to go out and buy a bunch of fancy toys or new furniture for their new home and finance it on credit and now all of a sudden they don't qualify for the mortgage. Mortgage companies have pulled the rug out. They changed their criteria. Uh, underwriting requirements is what it's known in the trade and I've had that happen. I've had a company that all of a sudden decided they didn't want to finance homes on acreage and we were on our a week or two from the closing table. Uh, you could get hit with a divorce proceeding. Somebody could lose their job or a transfer. Somebody could get sick. Uh, there's always a possibility people are lying to you. Uh, lots of, you know, administrative type delays, uh, sometimes delay funding and closing, but, uh, you know, those are some of the major issues. Appraisals. Your appraisal could come down, come back low. Now what are you going to do? Are you prepared for that? Inspections. Uh, any number of things can happen on inspections, and you could have huge repairs that you don't want to deal with, or, or the buyer doesn't want to, you know, take on. Um, surveys, you know, you might find something in the survey that you, as a buyer, don't like. Uh, suppose you want to put a pool in the backyard. Now you find out there's an easement back there that's going to keep you from doing that, or you get something from the HOA that says you can't pat park a dually in your driveway and that happens to be your work truck. Uh, so there are a number of little things that can happen and some major ones. Uh, you could just wake up and uh, the buyer has exercised this option. You know, you think you got your house sold and it's the 10th day but it's not midnight and all of a sudden the buyer says, you know what, change your mind, I'm out of here. So don't count your money until you're at the closing table and you're funded. But you're well on your way and a good agent will walk you through all these little side steps on the way and, and help you resolve them and 99% of the cases get you to the closing table and get you there on time. So if I can help you give me a call and if not I uh, hope to see you down the road buying or selling real estate and make it a good day in real estate.